Hello, dear ones. I'm also the chaplain for our St. John's Daughters of the King chapter. I received the National Daughters of the King newsletter and was struck by the words of the editor. We are all called to be proclaimers, it said. And I wanted to share that article with you. She wrote, the words I choose for this month is proclaim. I thought about how easy it is for us to proclaim that Jesus died for our sins during the Easter season. Then I wonder why it is so difficult for some of us, including me, to proclaim the good word at other times. Is it that I do not know how? Or is it more I just do not know how to do it often enough? Am I afraid of what others might think or say about me? How do you feel about proclaiming the good news? In Easter time and throughout the church year, we are told that we need to proclaim the news that Jesus died for our sins. We see others posting on Facebook that he is risen. And around Christmas time, we see that Christ is the reason for the season. To me, this is one way of evangelizing, and perhaps it is the easiest to do on Facebook or behind the screen of a computer. You can ignore the responsibilities, or you may not even have seen them. Another way of proclaiming is wearing a cross or the order's cross. I am comfortable wearing my cross and outwardly talking about it when asked, but not talking about my journey. I am not comfortable praying without the written word in front of me. I doubt my abilities. There are not only situations in which I doubt my abilities. I don't think I passed my comprehensive exams or achieved other goals. I am a doubting Thomas type. Maybe you are too. For Thomas, the presence of Jesus overcame fear and doubt. Whatever our temperaments or situations, may the Spirit of Christ empower us to bear witness to Christ's love and power. That was written by Pam Sabura, the uh, Crosslinks editor of the Daughters of the King. May we be proclaimers also. God bless you. Bye-bye.